Hello everybody, it's me Madison and welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is time for quarter three goals. Yeah, mm -hmm. somehow, some way, we are here. It is time. I don't understand it either, but that's what we're doing today. Okay, we moved because the bed just wasn't it for this video. So, like I said, we're talking about our goals for quarter three. If you've been here for the year, it's been a ride. Um, and if you're new, hello, hi. We're still learning how to set goals over here, so um, please hang around and don't do what don't do what I say. Don't do what I do. Do as I say. Right? Yeah. Anyway. I actually have this really pretty little layout here. We have all of the languages I'm learning in quarter three, and we're going to talk about them. And we're going to hope this quarter goes better than last quarter did. Speaking of last quarter, I believe my main focus was ASL, and Swedish was my side hustle. And, um, yeah, I don't have a lot to say. I do think I studied more, my, more of my languages in quarter three than I did in quarter, or in quarter two than I did in quarter one. However, I didn't study that much at all. April was meant to be a 30 day challenge of ASL. I didn't do any of those 30 days. However, I came out of that experience knowing that I need to have a language tutor when it comes to ASL. And now I have one. Her name is Miss O, Ms. O, and she is very fun. I like her. I have a whole video on my first italki class experience. I'll leave that linked in the eye, in the eye, wherever it is. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really like my language tu tutor and I think I'm finding out that language tutors are like the way for me to go, but we're going to save this uh, revelation until quarter four because I'm going to do more self-study this year with or this quarter with languages that are not ASL related. What is new for quarter three is Arabic. <laughs> I literally told Megan that I was going to like I started learning Arabic and her mom asked if I have commitment issues. No. I'm impatient, okay? I just really like starting, like, learning new languages. I think it's so much fun to just start them and to just get a little bit into the history, try and figure out a little bit of why stuff is like that. I really enjoy that aspect of it. And I have a whole video that has already been published on like my first week of learning Arabic and I talk a little bit more about like why I started learning Arabic, what is going on. Well, the thing is I'm going to just have fun. I like doing these little language projects. Not taking it seriously, though I did think I was going to take Russian seriously. That however has not happened. I just did it for two weeks, had a blast for those two weeks and then went back to Swedish and studied Swedish for three months straight with no problem. And if that's, if I want to do that, then that's fine. A lot of other polyglots, aspiring polyglots, they like to have their main language, which is ASL, maybe main languages, ASL and Swedish. And then they bounce a little bit between other languages and have a little bit of fun. They get a little taste of that ice cream, a little taste of this ice cream, a little one of this one. And then their final cone is their main languages. But, you know, they went into the ice cream shop and they tasted, they did a little taste test of those languages and those ice cream flavors. But ultimately, they ended up going with their with their usual, which is their target languages, their main focus target languages. And that is kind of what I'm doing for quarter three. My main focus for quarter three is going to be modern standard Arabic, because that is the one that I have done research on that people who learn Arabic should start with modern standard Arabic. And as I want to possibly go to Egypt for a degree per se, knowing modern standard Arabic is bueno, buen, bien, bra, good. It's good, okay? It's good. Um, so that is my main focus for quarter three. It's not ASL because I want to spend quarter three doing as much Arabic as my body can take, which I 
realize I've started all of these quarters with words similar to that and then proceeded to fail, but the difference is this is not a language challenge. It's not, okay? I swear, it is not a language challenge. Um, but Arabic is my main focus. Um, I would love to just have fun, learn it. It's so challenging. I've been doing it for two weeks now, and I cannot tell you a single word, aside from sir, which is Sayidi. So I guess, actually, I can indeed tell you a word that I've learned in these two weeks. It is sir. Um, and ma'am, I don't know ma'am yet, but I know sir, so. <laughs> That's a little bit more important in my mind. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's my take on Arabic, why I'm learning it in quarter three, why I'm not having my other two languages as the focus. That's my idea. Arabic is my my uh, my little spoon in the ice cream shop for this quarter. And I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy it. Studying languages to have fun. If you're not having fun, then what's the point? You know, there's going to be points in language learning where you're not having fun and you've got to push through those points, but they shouldn't be super long points. If you're going months of learning a language and you're not having fun, I'm pretty sure you're doing something wrong and you got to switch up your study style a little bit so that you are indeed having fun. And uh, yeah, so for Arabic, I have a couple, just a little bit of goals. Um, let's start this off. First, we have to master the alphabet. I am very well done. I'm, I'm very well. I don't know if that sounds right. I'm no. I'm very well acquainted with the uh, four unfamiliar letters of the Arabic alphabet: um, the a, uh, the b, the t, and the th. Um, oh, and wait, and the and the the d and the th. I can't pronounce them very well, but I, I can point them out. I notice them. Oh, and the r and the z. Okay, I guess I know more than I thought, but there's still a lot of them that I don't, I don't know. And when I'm doing my link stories, the letters that I'm looking at make the sounds that are not in my head. So I need to get more familiar. I want to master the alphabet in quarter three. Um, that just means more practice. I'm practicing my writing with Arabic very much because... It is so soothing. When I first heard that, where people practice uh, Arabic uh, cryptology, no, curology, no. Whatever the word is, uh, writing, and they use it for, like, I guess, therapeutic to them, I was like, no way, I don't believe you. Um, I take that back because I do believe you now. I really enjoy it and I imagine as I learn how to write more of the al the alphabet, I'm going to enjoy writing it more and more and I just think learning and mastering the alphabet is definitely going to help me remember some of these words because I don't remember any except Saidi, uh, which, or Saidi. Saidi? Yeah, Saidi. So next up we have complete the mango uh, modern standard Arabic course. On my little thing I have the people, travel, activities, and places which are the chapters in mango. I have all of those on here. I have each one that I want to do. I want to do one um, unit per chapter a week. So for week two I should finish chapter two, uh, chapter one unit two. It's a little bit confusing how they lay it out if you've never used Mango, but if you have used Mango, I think you understand what I'm grasping, what I'm saying. I hope you do. Basically, Mango is a little bit of a mix between Duolingo and Simplicity itself because I would say it's very simplistic. It teaches you stuff that you would use if you're traveling. I would say that's what it teaches you. And I don't really know how to feel about it. I tried it for Swedish. Mm -mm. We did not vibe. I'm trying it with Arabic. I think I like it, but I definitely don't get drawn to it. I'm more drawn to Link, which brings me to my next goal, which is to complete one link mini story a week. And recently, like yesterday, I listened while getting ready uh, for bed, and I listened to them this morning while getting ready for work, uh, week uh, mini story one and mini story two in Modern Standard Arabic. I listened to those on repeat. This is something that, of course, 
the god of language learning, Steve Kaufman, says to do, and I'm doing it. I, I don't see any results yet. It's been a day. Give me some time. Secondly, this isn't really like something that I could probably measure, but I want to find an enjoyable passive income source for Arabic. And my idea is Hogwarts Legacy, because it's super easy to change the language uh, in between games, and unlike The Sims, which I'd have to uninstall everything and then reinstall it in the language, and no, 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 that's too much. But Hogwarts Legacy, I believe, has an Arabic option. I will write here if it does or not, if I'm mistaken. Um, but I don't have Netflix anymore because they, they, they don't want you to share your password. And I was like, fine, we just won't have you anymore. And the, down, the only downside to that, because I didn't watch Netflix all that often, the downside of not having Netflix is not having so many shows in my TLs. Um, I would love to watch Trollhunters in Arabic, if that is at all possible. But it's a Netflix original show, and I don't have Netflix anymore. So I need to find a little bit of a substitute for this situation, this scenario. If you have any ideas where I could find Arabic shows, I am watching Arabic YouTube videos. I don't know what dialect. I'm just listening. I'm really confused, uh, obviously, but... I'm trying that source to put on YouTube videos while I eat that on Arabic. So that's what I'm kind of doing to substitute it. Though I think, I have a feeling I would really like Troll Hunters in Arabic. Um, I don't like the Swedish dub because uh, Toby's voice is terrible. Uh, but um, I feel like I would like it in Arabic. And then the last goal I have on here is to do one language transfer lesson a week. If I do more than one a week, hey, that's okay. But there's 40 lessons on language transfer that are for uh, Arabic, and I want to try them. A lot of people like language transfer. I have never personally used them, but I hope by quarter four, I can say I did. And I know that Tanya something on YouTube, I don't even want to try to pronounce her last name because I want to say it's something like Italian, but she's not Italian. I'm pretty sure she's Russian, so I don't know where this is coming from, but I want to say it with an Italian accent, which would just be very wrong. Um, anyway, she is using language transfer for Greek, and she seems to like it, and I've heard good things about it. From what I've seen so far, it reminds me of Pimsleur, but lower budget and free. So, I think that sounds like a good deal. Moving on to my next language, American Sign Language. When my when Megan told me that her mom asked if I have commitment issues, I said, no, 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 no. You can't ask me that question, and I have proof of it with one language for certain, ASL. Okay. I have hung on to this baby. It is not going away. I don't have commitment issues because look at me with ASL. We're strong, okay? So my goals for this are to do weekly ASL lessons. Now this will depend on when I get my work schedule and my teacher's availability because she wasn't available to do a class this week, but I've already booked two lessons for the next upcoming weeks. So it'll depend on availability my, when I get my schedule for work and honestly sometimes I might take two lessons a week because um, when I work the weekends I don't have as many I don't work as many days during the week I have two days off so I mean I usually have three but I'm picking up extra hours across the street in finance so I, ha I would have three but I have two days off so during the week so that's kind of what I'm thinking I will do more than just the one a week but that also depends on availability scheduling, all of that jazz. So I'm going to do one of those a week. And then I also want to do a Bill Vicars lesson a week. My man, Bill Vicars, is back for this video. If you were here for quarter two's goals, then you know I wanted to finish ASL 1 and ASL 2 of his playlists. Mm -mm, uh, I don't think I moved at all from where I was at quarter two. But we're gonna we're gonna change that. We're gonna change that, okay? We're gonna be more determined this year. And I know I said that last year, but I'm just gonna keep saying it until it comes true, okay? I've already started making the steps. I just gotta keep going. So I wanna do one of those a week 
because I want to improve my ASL level a lot faster than just one lesson a week. I believe I'm going to start, my teacher and I are going to start doing ASL grammar in, our, in one of our next lessons, which I'm very excited for because as you know, one of my goals is to get the grammar down pat so that if I have a story that I think is funny, I can tell it to Merle and he'll find it funny and not just look at me like I don't make sense. Understandably, I don't, but I'm hoping to change that. And then my final one is sign of the day. It's very simplistic. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is every day on this website that my teacher gave me on uh, italki called signschool.com. Completely free. They have an option that is sign of the day. Under it, I have want to use the website weekly, but I do not yet know what it is slash how the website works. So I didn't want to put anything on there for like weekly on there because I don't know how it works, but I do want to do a sign of the day so that I'm at least learning one new sign a day. And then we have Svenska. Um, I love Swedish. I really do. I think it is so, so pretty. It is certainly a lot easier than Arabic, um, Arabic and I just... We're in a rough spot again. We're in a rough spot, hence kind of this little language project. The reason I'm in the ice cream though I once again. Um, me and Swedish are having a hard time. Lucas, my little Swedish language exchange partner, poof, he disappeared. I don't know where he went. Uh, talk about lack of talk about that motivation leaving real quickly when he did as well. Um, I know that I can't depend on other people to help me keep motivated. But we were kind of dwindling before then, and then just weeks and weeks went by without talk from him, and I was like, what's the point? Anyway, I'm going to try and keep up my Swedish during quarter three, because I, like, I'm on the fence with it right now, and so I want to just take some time back from it, do a little language project, and then see where I am in quarter four. At the start of it, I want to recuperate there, and yeah. So I got two goals for this. I have uh, do 50 close master cards weekly that are new and then do my review cards every week. Um, I have close master for the rest of my life. I need to use it. Hopefully one day I will be able to use it with Arabic. Hopefully. And then the second one is to finish the imported story I put onto Link which is called En Ala Mirand Handels. Mm -mm. Can you tell I haven't done Swedish in a while because I don't know how to pronounce words anymore? Yes, this was a story I saw on AO3, literally the first one on there that was in Swedish. Downloaded it, put it into Link. I have two other stories on Link. My goal is just to finish this one because I wanted to do one Swedish fanfiction from AO3 a week, um, and that didn't happen. We're still working on this one. I didn't realize how slow one is to read a story in a language they do not know a single word of. Okay, I know, I know, I know some single words in Svenska. Men, I don't know a lot. So this uh, certainly does not use the 1,000 most common words all that frequently. Screw that tip. Throw it out the window. Um, I'm learning some interesting words, but not exactly sticking with me and I'm not reading the story the f as fast as I would like but by the end of quarter four I want to know where I stand with sweet or by the end of quarter three I want to know where I stand with Swedish certainly by the end of quarter four because it's gonna be a brand new year and we're gonna have to set those new goals I cannot believe we are almost in quarter four I can't believe we're almost in 2024 because that is insane to me. As the years go on, as I get further into college, my language learning is going to fluctuate. But for this quarter, next, or for this semester of school, which I'm almost done with, but by the time you're seeing this, I'm finished with, um, and then the one after that, I should be able to fit language learning in, and then I'm going on vacation, eight weeks without school and then I'm coming back to do science labs and I'm hoping even though it's going to be a little bit more of a difficult class I imagine I'm still going to do language learning. I know that I need to sacrifice stuff that I enjoy. 
I need to stop perusing the AO3 platform and the forums and instead put that time and energy into my language studies. I have a second channel that I make reaction videos on of different fandoms. I talked about it with my uni in our live stream and I would love to do multilingual subtitles for those videos because the only audio in it is the audio of what the characters are reacting to. So theoretically, the words could be in any language and I would love to do it multilingual. Right now, it looks like it's going to be Arabic and Swedish because, you know, ASL people, they can read. So, in English. Um, so yeah, that's where I stand. That's where I am. Please tell me down below what your goals are. What languages are you focusing on? And also, just for fun, comment down below what YouTube channel you are currently obsessed with. Of course, I love my girl, my uni. But secondly, I'm going to mention my girl, Pearly. She's not my girl. She replies to my comments, but I don't think she knows how much I love her videos. This is her, linked in the description box. She is so much fun. I really think that me and her were like twins in different mother's wombs, split apart, different countries, because I feel like my personality is so similar to her personality. And I love it. So go check her out if you haven't already. She's fantastic. I love her. Um, also, go sub subscribe to my besties. They're all linked down below. Love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Au revoir. Salut. What have you said in Arabic? Hey, Dua. Goodbye. Um, adios. Konnichiwa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Goodbye.